all want to create games and make a living out of it. But I'm going to take it a step further and I want to earn one million dollars with game development. Is that even possible? Am I even going to... It's been 30 days since me and my friend Ahmed started working on our game Pookie Ninja. For those of you who don't know, I've teamed up with Ahmed who creates amazing 3D models that you've probably seen in Warframe. You know, the game that everybody plays. We created our game development company, Pryon Games. Maybe we'll give it another name, but our goal is to publish as much games as possible every month. In the last 30 days, we've been working on Pookie Ninja, which is a stealth game where you need to come close to enemies in order to, well, kill them. What else can you do? You're not going to kiss them, you're not going to marry them. And we are in the testing phase where we are testing the levels and improving the gameplay and also optimizing the game and adding the finishing touches. So the game will be out very soon. Subscribe to the channel to know when. During these 30 days, I've learned a lot of cool tricks that you can't learn otherwise. And some of these things are everyday components of every game that we create, yet a lot of people make mistakes with these like I did. The first issue that I experienced was with animation. I had this issue where my character was going from idle to walk and back to idle again when he stops moving. It kind of looks annoying as you can see from the preview. The player can walk normally and all, but this is not the outcome you want for your game. After spending three days trying different things I figured out what was the problem simply changing the parameters in the animation I was using trigger parameters but when I switched to boolean parameters then the animation was fixed it's weird how a simple thing like this can break a mechanic in your game so the number one lesson learned when it comes to animations is be careful what you choose as a parameter for your animations because well it can you up or it can mess your stuff up the next part that I was trying to bring to perfection was enemy AI. Since my game is set in some sort of a maze, but the goal is not to break out of it, instead it's to hide and kill the enemies. I wanted to make the enemies so smart that they will think before they make a step. So I tried to implement the famous A star pathfinding algorithm, but that didn't work out well because I had issues with calculating the edges of obstacles that are in my way so that the enemies don't walk close to the walls of level parts, which will look like the enemies are, you know, partially passing through walls and you don't want that for your game. Since that didn't work, I tried to implement an AI system that uses ray casting to determine if the enemy has obstacles in front of him and then they will dodge the obstacles or move to the left or right side. This idea was brilliant and the enemies would basically be on their own because when they see an obstacle, they will move to the side to avoid it and when they see the player, they will run towards him to attack him. I only managed to implement that logic partially as my enemies were behaving, well, an alcoholic would be a compliment for them. So I simply called it a day and decided to use Unity's built-in navigation system. The number one thing that I want to avoid is the enemy getting close to the edges or sides of the level props. This is very easy to do in Unity's built-in navigation system. You simply change the agent radius in the bake tab when you are baking the navigation file for your level and the job is done. It's simple as that. The enemy movement is very easy to implement as well. You just add some empty game objects to serve as path points and you just change the destination of the enemy's nav mesh agent to those path points and the enemy is moving across the level. As you can see, the enemies are moving across the whole level on random and they will continue to move until they see the player and then they will move towards him and start shooting. The number one thing I learned here is that don't try to complicate things by implementing famous algorithms before you try to implement Unity's built-in features as they can be a lot easier to work with. The next step is getting that bread. Of course, with ads because we need the money. Okay. Okay, she's just my girlfriend in the game. And while we're at it, how about a kiss? Come on, please. <laughs> Thank you. So 
I was thinking, how can I add ads in my game, but still make it like people want to watch those ads? Because you know, no one wants to see ads pop up in a game without a good reason. In my game, you have diamonds that you collect. So I thought I can add ads at the end when my player finishes the level so that he can watch the ads to double the diamond count that he has earned so far. Of course, these are test ads, so I had to click on these 2000 times to load, but you can see from the video that after I closed the ad, my diamond count went from 100 to 200. I also implemented a feature when the player is killed in the game, you can watch an ad to continue where he left off. These two ways of implementing ads are very smart because they sync with the game. And when someone plays the game, he doesn't think of these ads as ads. Instead, he thinks of them as part of the game and he's not annoyed by them, which means more revenue for my ass and more bread in my back. Of course, not taking into consideration a few bugs that I have to fix. <laughs> now we are almost at the release date where we are polishing the levels and fixing the minor bug issues like the ones you saw in the videos, I'm not going to talk about it because, you know, we're like Google, Apple, and Microsoft. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when more videos come out so that, you know, when I publish the game, you will also be notified about that. And you can go and download the game because, you know, someone needs to feed me and that's going to be you. So, uh, yeah, you'll be downloading the game. See you in the next video.